What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Gmaya's World and you guys requested it so you know you're going to get it. You wanted to see how these new players that we brought into the squad, how they're going to look in their first game. Champ Bailey, Patrick Peterson, we got Dwight Freeney, we got Simeon Rice, we got a lot of things going on. Go ahead and check out the way everything is going on with Sprinter Brawler, all that good stuff. If you need to pause the video, always feel free to do so. You can see you know, pretty much what I have going on as far as, you know, the, the, the scheme cams, the team cams, all that good stuff. That's why I do it so that you guys can understand what's going on. And then you go from there. All right. So now we're going to take a look at um, my weekend league record currently. If you guys were with me during my most recent live stream, go ahead and type the number three in the comment section. You guys would understand exactly what's going on. It is very, very wild out here in these streets. Um, I took the most losses on a first day of weekly that I have in a very, very long time. Not a big deal because these dudes are garbage out here, but that's not what this is about. What this is about is, are we gonna be able to do what we need to do right now? Can we come out here and successfully dominate this guy because he's responsible solely for all the losses that we took before? Obviously that's not true, but it's his fault because he's here right now and the other guys that beat me are not. So he's gonna have to deal with what we have coming for him right now and that's pretty much it. So here we go with what we're gonna be going uh, to do right now with the um, Simeon Rice is gonna be going to play D-Tackle. Now, what does that mean, Simeon Rice playing D-Tackle? Is that going to be a new Miles Garrett? What are we doing with that? How are we gonna work uh, that situation? Is that something that we're gonna keep uh, going forward with is that something that makes sense for all of us to do all of those questions are gonna be answered throughout the video Because most of you guys when you come in here, you're like yo. All right, you got this guy there. Is he good? Is he garbage? I can't tell you off one video unless the player is really really bad All right, if he is a guy that is a keeper or he's not right so look the first play of the game the guy throws a pick All right Not a big deal there most people like you know lower level players they always try to throw that table route or throw it to the flat immediately. Right here, he dominates me, he hits me right in the backfield. I deserved it because I came out there thinking it was sweet. It obviously wasn't, and that's pretty much how that first uh, scenario goes offensively. I'm not worried at all though because I know once you throw me a pick to start the game, I would say 98% of the time when you throw a pick like that right to the flat, I'm going to probably win the game. That's just the ratio that I've come up with because most of you guys that have any type of skill at the game, you would agree. Starting a game off with an interception like that, as soon as the game starts, it definitely shifts the momentum. You gotta go out of your way to be an idiot to let EA Sports like reverse the polarity of the flux capacitor and then you lose the game. So just be very, very careful with that as you move forward um, going through. So he, go, he goes ahead, he does the same exact thing. So you can see, this guy is not really on the level of um, like, you know, skill player. What I did notice that uh, though was he did have a lot of the players that I use and he had obviously used the uniforms. Now, Aaron Rodgers, a lot of people that were having issues with, um, you know, finding a quarterback, having to put abilities on their quarterback. I told you this, I told you this about three or four months ago. Aaron Rodgers is the best quarterback to use without abilities because he has the same exact release. And that's just something that is gonna help everyone, uh, you know, as far as getting the ball off. So this guy has a lot of similar stuff. I don't know if he's a guy that watches my videos. I can't say for certain, but most people that have that Aaron Rodgers like that and Calvin Johnson and stuff like that, they watch my videos because that's usually the only reason why people don't have a quarterback with abilities running around like an idiot spamming corner routes. Now, I have since put abilities on my quarterback, all right, and took it off the running back because, you know, a golden ticket Bo Jackson, does he really need abilities? You know what I'm saying? Like, do these guys really need to have abilities? Probably not. Now, right there on that play right there, you can clearly see that my D tackle got stood up. So Simeon Rice is a guy that I'm going to really have to watch and figure out what exactly is going on with him. Okay, right there, he pushes off, but then he just stands right there like an idiot right after. I don't know what he was doing, but that doesn't matter, though. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to continue to watch him. Why did he take that angle and then spin around like an idiot? All right, it looks like he was uh, actively getting held. I don't know. What is going on? Okay, he threw that guy to the ground. All right, so right there, you can kind of see that he's a very, very good D tackle. Uh, you know, obviously he's a right end, but you can see with abilities that he's suitable. The issue is how fast can he get off? How fast is that, like with that center, whoever that center is, it doesn't matter who the center is. He could have the best center in the game in Hawaii. How fast from the time of, you know, the contact, you see like how he did that and then that guy screamed, like LT just screamed right through the middle. That's what I'm looking for because generally you don't need the player that has the abilities to scream And that's what a lot of you guys make the mistake of doing. Yo, I got this guy with abilities. He never gets in But what about the other players around him? 
It's about putting the players in the right position to make the other players be more successful because you only get three abilities. So, I mean, well, three superstar X Factors, three guys that you can put abilities on that you can activate. So because of that, you have to find the best players that are able to do things in order to get other players, you know, to be better on the field. So right now, remember, we got Dwight Freeney, we have Simeon Rice, we got Patrick Peterson, and we have, um, who's the other guy that we have over there? Uh, Champ Bailey. So all of these guys right now are going to make different separate plays uh, throughout this game. And it's going to be very, very interesting to see, like right here, you see like how everybody's getting blocked. He sent out three guys, um, you know, obviously. So, you know, with the way that he's doing it, he has, he's blocking seven. He's staying like right in the pocket and just doing whatever he wants. Um, he's obviously getting a little bit more time. Patrick Peterson is reading the play late, but he's there. Remember, if I may, I'm going to man these guys up later in the video to kind of give you guys some insight into the man coverage. I like to make sure that everything is covered right there. That was zone. That was all zone. And usually in the zone coverages, when they do those quick hitch routes out of the two back system, the, the, the corner doesn't, it doesn't respond to it in certain zones. But for, okay, he just ran right into that. I, I, yo, bro, he didn't fumble on it. Like, I, look, I gotta be honest. Okay, there goes Byron Jones. We were talking about him in the last video. That dude sucks. I gotta be honest with you, right? If he would have fumbled right there, I can't be mad. I ran directly into a hit stick. Now, sometimes I'm always trying to like, uh, you know, maneuver it, you know, move the guy out the way, do different things like that. But right there, I just ran right into it. And I didn't get a chance to like kind of move off to the side or anything like that. So because of that, that created an issue where he just ran right into it. And it was really, really wild. So with all of that being said, okay, he's just, what, what is this guy doing? How is he avoiding those hit sticks like that? That's really, really wild, dude. I have no idea how he's doing that. That is really, really crazy. But again, with the way that everything is set up, we have to watch um, how this is gonna work. Okay, so he, all right, I, I overplayed that. I overplayed that like an idiot, to be honest. I don't know what I was doing. Cause this dude, this dude right here, I gotta be honest with you, bro. I didn't know how long he was gonna stay and if I was gonna be able to see how good these, oh my, yo, dude. Oh, he, oh, they just took out everybody's legs, but it don't matter. Patrick Peterson, in zone, playing corner routes. So look, again, I don't know if it's because it's his first game. I don't know why he's doing it, but he played that very, very well. And um, right here, he comes out with the double team. Um, he has another double team. All right, let's try it again though. Like, bro, okay, oh. Why didn't he pick it? The ball just got stuck in the air like that. All right, cool. Whatever, man. We're gonna try it again. All right, so he has two on that side. Okay, we're just gonna run the post. All right, cool. Let's just let's just run the post, bro. Like it doesn't even make any sense to do anything else. Why would you do anything else at this point? Okay, he's okay. Let's go. Yeah, go for six. Go for six. This dude's user. I gotta be honest. It's one of the worst users I've ever seen. Like, and and I've seen a lot of bad users, but this guy right here, like, it's something. It's something about this guy's user, bro. I'm starting to like this guy. Like this dude right here. I don't know exactly what he's doing and why he's doing it but it's not going to be beneficial for him playing Madden. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know exactly what's going on with it. It doesn't seem to make much sense with what he's trying to accomplish. So with that being, okay, all right. So this guy's just going to keep doing whatever he wants. And then he brought Devin Hester. Look, I don't know. He's doing, this guy is, uh, I don't know, bro. This guy's kind of weird. I don't, he's going to throw it right there. Uh, who's that, Chan Bailey? All right, get dotted then. Get dotted. All right, scream at him. Now, look, you might be saying, how did that guy just scream through the gap like that? Why did he just run free? Well, you got to look at what's going on. You see Simeon Rice? He has that center, and everybody else is getting double and triple team because Dwight Freeney, uh, I don't know if you guys checked out his stats when I showed it in the previous video, but 95 speed, 99 excel, uh, 99 finesse move, that's a super fast card. Um, he, he probably, we could put him off the edge with that 95 speed and just let him go crazy, to be honest, and see how he works. Uh, probably give him outside um, thing there. Um, what is that? Um, outside run stopper or something like that? Uh, because he... You know, Jadavion Clowney is going to play the way Jadavion Clowney plays no matter what. But those stock green chems, it's something about them that makes the game different. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't really prove it, but it's something about it. Like, it makes the players play a little bit better. Like, you can see it. Anybody that has... What is this idiot doing? Oh, he tried, oh, he tried to use her? I don't know. Yo, this guy... Yo, I, I gotta... Bro, I gotta evaluate this guy's user, man. Like, he, he's really just around to play, but playing absolutely no defense at all. All right, Champ Bailey, take this for six, though. Take this for six. All right, spin move him slow. Like, why are you spin moving with that stupid animation? Hit me off real quick, Byron Jones. Hit me off. Thank you. Thank you for that, bro. Uh, when you're done, look in your locker. I'm going to slip my mom's number in there. Because, like, oh, my God. Bro, who? Was that your Davion Clowney? Okay, that's Champ Bailey picking the ball. But was that your Davion Clowney that just went crazy? And I just said that we're going to probably replace him with Freeney. Yeah, we're going to keep that the way it is, bro. We're not going to go ahead and uh, make any um, adjustments to that. The way that boy is playing right now, we got to just leave him right there. That man is an animal right there, dog. I don't, yo, he threw the guy right off the way and just ran in and smashed the quarterback. So no matter what he did on that play, 
it was either gonna be a fumble or interception because everything was just set up perfectly for what I was doing so you know it just it just worked out for us now we got to figure out through the rest of this video are these players here to stay it, did I see enough to say you know what these are guys that you know probably I'm gonna stay with and finish out weekend league with um, I'm gonna let you know right now. Okay, everybody was getting hit. The quarterback, the running back, it didn't matter who was out there, bro. Everybody had to get a little bit of that action. Yo, that's what I'm talking about, though. These dudes, yo, these dudes is rough and rugged, bro. I'm gonna tell you right now, these dudes, th these dudes are really, really like rugged, bro. Um, all right, so go ahead and uh, get that. Okay, bro, hold, go ahead, do what you have to do. Go ahead, go ahead. All right, so we're right here. We're right here. Okay, go ahead. Yep, sp spin him then. Spin him. Go, go. Do what you got to do. Okay. So this dude right here is gonna play excellent defense uh, on the read option. That looks pretty good. Go ahead, do what you have to do. Um, okay, look, now watch this. Olympic 2020, bro. How is that dude doing a front and a backflip mixed? How is he doing a front and a backflip mixed, dog? Yo, that, that's just wild, bro. Like, I don't even know how this guy, he just, did he throw that? What is he do? Yeah, this, this dude right here is crazy, bro. I've never seen anything like this, to be honest. I've never seen anything like, yeah, pump me the ball. And Champ Bailey, do me a favor. Show me that you don't care by fumbling the football right here. Just show me that you don't care. Go ahead. There you go. Good job, man. Good job. And Shazier made you fumble too. It wasn't even a guy with like 99 hit power. The dude just fumbled the ball for no reason. Yeah, fumble the back. Get hit stick. Kevin Green low key. I don't know what we're going to do with you, bro. We could put you inside and leave LT on the outside, but Kevin Green low key screens all the time. I, I, I don't know. We got to figure this out. Oh, oh, Grunk? Grunk though? With the jet touch pass? All right, cool. Whatever, bro. All right, run this for six, Cam. Run this for six. Yeah, I don't care. I'm not even sliding, bro. Cam is way too big to slide. Like, I'm definitely not even going to slide, bro. Oh, he stayed right with that corner route. What kind of D is this guy playing? Oh, he picked me off and I'm doing an animation behind him? I don't know what this guy's doing. Oh, another animation. It don't really matter. Let me know your feedback from the way you see the new defensive plays, uh, like how they're playing. I think they played, like, as best as we can think. You know what I'm saying? I think that they were very, very good, uh, in my opinion. Uh, they locked up a lot of things. If there's anything else that you guys want to see, let me know as well. Any kind of tweaks, adjustments, stuff like that. Let me know about it in the comment section. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. Have a great day. One love, y'all.